Why, hello everyone, and welcome. Welcome back to Wobble Dogs, where we have a bit of a mystery to start off with today. Because you see, in my grand and infinite wisdom, I plunked a little egg into this egg machine. And you know, I was like, oh, how cute, you can shrink it down. We could put a little chest and a little egg in like every room, like egg machine in every room. How fun would that be? Sure, in theory. I just forgot that, you know, if I'm not careful, I'm going to forget which egg is where, and uh, things could get very interesting. So I have no idea who is in here, and I have no idea if we actually have other egg machines with other eggs already incubated. Oh, hey! Raisin bread! You had such an amazing child! Oh, the golden child! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, golden raisin. Oh my gosh, there's no dog in here. Okay, come on. We've got to get the golden raisin? Come on! Because there's golden raisins from, like, I, I think, like, green grapes. So we're going to get golden raisin, like, ready to go, too. Raisin bread themselves are just, like, having a fantastic time bouncing their life away. I'm giving them all of the love for that because they, they, they came into this world with three heads, two legs, and one beaver tail. Which, actually, I just remembered we needed to make sure that we go ahead and, like, get into the genetic stock. Um, and they've made the most of it. Other dogs, other dogs who are lucky enough to have four legs and the capability. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back, Cloud. You carry on with the, the laying of that egg that you were just thinking about. Yes. Okay. I take it back. You, it, um, I, you can here have a pumpkin. I will go ahead and <laughs> I have never seen a dog this angry, except I think we had one of the, the vegetable small dogs, the, like the little vegetable doxy dogs. Um, I think it was about this angry, but I, I only very vaguely remember that and it was tiny and Cloud just goes around like an angry beast. It's kind of amazing. Also, Eureka Likely! Hey, good news, Eureka Likely! You're about to go ahead and uh, pop out into a giant pile of food because I still haven't cleaned up from when Cloud made this mess. And how are we doing with celery? Okay, so celery, I want to... Oh, oh boy, okay. I actually want to get celery over to these fortune cookies. Okay, that's Eureka Likely. The, a good key step. Oh, hang in there, hang in there, Celery. I swear I'm sending you to the right place this time. Yes! Okay, a good key step to sending the dog. Oh, look at those eyes! That was so cool. He had like angry little triangle eyes. Are you just playing with that? He's just playing with it. That's so cute. But before we puppy Celery the ninth, we need to work on like having the bigger wings. You're doing good, you're doing good. Here, we're gonna be very fortunate. There we go. All right, good job. And we'll put you away. And then who's hungry? Oh, Teen Finch! Who's in the tiny, tiny den in the asteroid field? That's amazing. Uh, come out, oh dear. And and come get something to eat, darling. I have plenty of moon cheese, alien, alien stuff at this point because you, you doubled in size. I'm just gonna let you do whatever the heck you want. You wanna be smaller? Is that why you wanna eat the moon cheese? Oh no, you wanna, okay. Oh my gosh. You know what? Look at that happy wagging tail. For a little while there, I was really distressed because Finch did not come up along the the ideal that we were going to have of these tiny, adorable little Finch birds that just bird dogs that would just be everywhere. Goose's con contribution to teensy dogs was lost then and Finch can no longer fly. <laughs> not really because Finch got too long and I think too heavy, even though when they were a baby, they could sure fly. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll wiggle ourselves back around there. Also, Oakley, where are you going? Okay, Oakley, you need a big tail. I need to get you a lot of garlic bread. That's upstairs. Eventually, oh dear. Okay, hold up, hold up. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Look, Cloud isn't even here to cause any trouble. <laughs> There we go. It's so fun. Like, I, I admit perhaps things were a little bit more practical. Back when we went ahead and we actually sorted our dogs into different zones and we kept their food isolated in certain ways, maybe there will come a time where we start doing such practical things again. But I have to admit, it's really fun to try to remember which room I put something in and just like eat the dogs until we find it. All right, let's see how Celery's doing. <gasps> Ectoplasm! Somebody, no, 
no, no, don't you, don't you scoop the ectoplasm up. Rupert, Rupert the robot dog, vacuum, leave that alone. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Celery the Ninth, you're like a condor or something with those gigantic wings and that huge wingspan. That, that pleases me. Look at that. Oh, and snout size went up for just no, no heckin' reason. It was just like, I'm just gonna have a big nose now. Sure, you, wow, wow. And actually, I think the nose is actually so big because it's like the width and then it's just like a rectangle now. That is impressive. Also, thank you very much, Rupert. I'm gonna go ahead and send Rupert the robot into another room. All right, so last time we did talk about having a little, um, a little hatching area and having a little chest in every room. I think that that would actually be really useful. Um, I also love the idea of being able to start maybe theming where we store everything. So maybe the tech here is, oh, there's an egg. Where's that egg? I wanna, there's an egg and a capsule. I wanna find both of those. Also there's Rupert. So finish your statement, Siri, you can do it. Uh, so my thought is we'll go through and we'll put one of every single food into a different chest. Like the, the there will be one of each food somewhere in one of the chest. It doesn't have to be like every single one, but like what I mean to say is like, Look, we got ectoplasm, cocoons, and fortune cookies in here. So we know after we finish distributing the food items, if we open up a chest and it doesn't have those things, then the ectoplasm, cocoons, and fortune cookies don't belong in there. So don't put them in there, Siri, for crying out loud. Um, so that's my thought to like start kind of organizing things. That leaves us with the ability to go ahead and say like, oh, I want to go ahead and have both of the sticks in here. And now they're going to hang out in this room. So it would make things a lot more organized in that sense. And it would help us to start isolating at least certain zones of food. And I think that there's a lot of benefit to that. Where am I going to put the macaroons? Macaroons, macaroons. You know, that's a good thought. We have all of our, oh, are you okay? Raisin bread, having a hard time. Oh, raisin bread, you're the one with the egg. <gasps> okay, that's a sign. We need to go ahead and have raisin bread be allowed to have another egg, uh, cause that's pretty awesome. And I think, who else is an adult right now? Eureka likely, if you would just enjoy by chance, potentially going ahead and, um, and like being ready to puppy so that you can be an adult, that would be really cool. Just saying. I think maybe I'll put the macaroons in here. Like, you know, tiny things, tiny blue things in the river. And also I like having the ham sliders in here. I don't know why. It just makes sense to me. Or maybe, you know, the macaroons down in the lily pad area with the, oh wow. Okay, good. That was, oh no, it was a dog. <laughs> I was like, oh, it was just some gelatin. And no, it was poor Oakley. Oh dear. Oh my, I, you know what? Maybe there is a way to like build some barriers. All right, I'm overthinking it. Macaroons go in here. All right, so let's put all the macaroons in here. And that doesn't mean we can't put other foods in other areas, but it will help us to just start knowing like, oh, where do the macaroons and mochi balls go? Why over here? And that makes it a lot easier to work on like feeding the dogs certain things. So we won't put raisins in here. Though that would be interesting to, what if you fed a dog the raisins for the purple, the macaroons for the blue, and the gelatin for the green? Like, could you really start influencing that to turn into a specific something? I never thought about that, but that would actually be really cool. Oh, Celery. Oh, celery the teenager dog definitely sleeping away, cuddling all of its abundant food. This reminds me of like the old 90s way that people used to do um, sleepovers and you just look in and it was just like cases of soda and, and like chips and all those other things. Oh, there he is. Good job, Rupert. Here, you go this way. I wish we could have more than one Rupert because I like Rupert. Here, Rupert, go this way. I don't think that actually puts him in the space area and I have now lost Rupert. Well, it happens. Also, I forgot we were going to hatch a dog literally like, <gasps> Cocoon, I mean, oh my gosh. Scarecrow, scarecrow dog, that was so cute. Oh, you know what? We do need to go ahead and make one of these rooms properly into a little field. 
because we have the materials. Oh, look, oh, come on. If we had a farm field, we could have the gourds. We could have the pumpkins. We could have the dirt clumps in the farm field and it would be so cute. Uh, also, I guess this is one way I can, Rupert, sorry about that, Rupert. Could you please like, there we go. Okay, Rupert should be here now. Um, meanwhile, in the space room, clearly that's where you store your space cheese and that's where you store your space alien fruit. That's not where you store your, your jars of eyeballs from those terrible eyeball bushes that exist on terrible planets that should be destroyed. Um, in Splore. And anything else right now that I would feed to a dog that I wanted to associate with spacey themes? What does the onion ring do again? Rupert, down you go. Good luck. Oh, he spins. Like a little hockey puck. Okay, maybe there's nothing for you in here. On you go. What does the... Let's see. I could just go and look. Okay, something also affects this. Interesting. Oh, wow. You know what? We, we haven't had candy apples in a long time, too. And the metallic sheen, especially on the golden dog that we're trying to get would be really cool to see. So the, the onion rings make you big. Do they do anything else? And they make you have tiny, oh, cursed onion rings. I don't want tiny wings. All right, we're gonna put the onion rings in here. They are a cursed item. No dog will hopefully eat them um, because I'm, I, I, I just simply do not want them to go ahead and uh, become tiny winged. That's not something that would be fun for me. All right, let's see. Sephiroth. Sephiroth is still hanging out. I loved how his core got caught up in just doing loops last time. That was hilarious. Oh, hey! <gasps> Oakley! You're really ready to mature into an adult dog. I am so proud. Where is... Where's my... Uh, let's see. Big tail. Big tail goes in here with big wings. Oh, boy. Okay, look. Big tail is so important. We're gonna have garlic bread stations. Whoops. Okay, and let's remove these, and we'll remove these, and we're keeping those guys in here. All right, Oakley. It's kind of like an all-you-can-eat buffet. That, that kind of... Okay, look. Maybe this is a lot more fun to be on Garlic Bread Mountain in theory than in practice, but... Nobody can say it's not enrichment for the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> to have to eat their way out to survive, right? Um, all right, maybe, maybe I'm taking that a little too far. All right, Oakley, there you go. Eat up, eat up, and puppy. Gotta do it while those that bacteria are fresh. Finch, Finch, my dear. Why don't you eat some of these mystery candy corns that nobody else has eaten? Oh, oh my, and I totally forgot about the... I think this is the fairy dog or the golden dog. Ooh. Ooh, did you see that? What was that? Finch, you are a bold explorer of new genomes. I'm so proud of you. All right, we'll put you away. And then, oh, Eureka Likely, yes! Okay, Eureka Likely, Um, I wanted to feed you mochi. I really, 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 really wanted to feed you mochi. Why does this place have to be such a chaotic mess right now? Because now I have to figure out what to do with all of these things to get out of the way so I could feed you some mochi. Uh, no, it wasn't mochi, it was macaroons, macaroons, because I wanted you to be a little more blue. All right, let's try this out. I'm, I've got a lot of cleaning to do at some point. Uh, and let's eat this. Can you reach it? Three heads sometimes is not better than one. Oh, but he got so excited when he got it. All right, one more macaroon. One more macaroon. Wow, you're gonna be really green. I need to put away the jelly, the gelatin, the strongest green dye in known to like science kind is apparently in there. All right, and yes. All right, let's get Eureka Likely aged up and then we will go ahead and have Eureka Likely and Cloud? Cloud. Oh, you special creature, you. Whoa, don't growl at me, rude. Maybe, maybe raisin bread or chipmunk. Chipmunk, you're almost dead. Chipmunk, you, 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 chipmunk is sleeping the sleep of the dying. Oh my gosh, look, we're gonna put the gelatin mold in here. Um, uh, and the mini pumpkins and, okay, we're gonna put the cut fruit in here. So gelatin and cut fruit will go into this room. Um, um, and let's pull all the cut fruit out right over here. 
This is actually going to be kind of fun to set it up like this, because then we'll at least know. There you go. Chipmunk, you're like nearly dead. <laughs> then we'll at least know like if we want to go after a certain trait, which room to try to drop the dogs into when they're close to pup aiding. There you go. <laughs> oh, Chipmunk, please don't scare me like that. You, you were like sleeping yourself to death. All right, let's see. Where are we going? Okay, where are we going, Celery? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're the one with the, the zoomies. All right, let's get Eureka Likely out. Oh, there's so much to do. So much to clean. Ooh, okay. So we're losing that darker blue hue because we ate the gelatin dye. Um, but I like the overall effect. Eureka Likely. Look at this. Wing size went up just a teensy, teensy bit. Um, and otherwise, you look cool. Like, that's just the bottom line. Sometimes you just gotta step back and be like, that's cool. All right, Oakley. Oh yes, I put you over the garlic bread mountain. I really should get Rupert back in here to clean that up. All right, Oakley, how you doing? Good. Oh, you're an adult now too. I don't really see a lot of change. In fact, there was really not much change. That's okay. You can just be whoever you wanna be, Oakley. Uh, and I'm gonna put your cocoons away. Well, I guess we have one more dog. I should have waited. So the cocoons go away in here. Ectoplasm in here. Yes, okay. Um, and then, <laughs> hey, Celery. All right, where's our other? Finch! That's right. Okay, let's get little Finch down. I will free whoever that is. Finch, did you manage to go ahead and figure out? Oh, you're so cute. Did you figure out what that weird? No. So we still don't have a candy corn uh experiment that has unlocked a real understanding of what that does however maybe that will be a job really finch <laughs> you're so okay let me okay that's a job for me to clean that up maybe eating the candy corn might be a perfect job for the fairy dog exemption oh my gosh <laughs> oh whenever like like i just i just i just you hear lemon drops voice every time I see those those eyes, and that just cracks me up. Um, um, okay, so little fairy dog, I think I'm gonna name you uh, Twinkle Toes. There we go. There you go, Twinkle Toes. Welcome to the world. I have no idea what effects many of these things may have on you. Would you like to assist me in candy corn consumption? Good puppy. You were full, you did it anyway. Long snout, white nose and ears and yellow legs. Ooh, that sounds really cool. An orange body, okay. I need to get like my color wheel back out <laughs> and do a little analysis of how we could mix and match some of these dogs. But for now, let's go ahead. I think Raisin Bread and Eureka Likely. Let's, let's just see what happens. We've got a lot of legs on one, only two legs on the other. I probably will try to focus on the beaver tail if nothing else cool comes up. Oh, there's a lot of cool. <laughs> wow! Look at the size of some of these puppies! Wow, okay! I like, I like the like, cut of this guy's jib. Um, but I also really like this little guy right there. Let's do, let's do these two. There we go. And just kind of see what we get. We, oh, that's a cute puppy! Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a really cute puppy. Oh no. Like it gets so tricky when you start just falling in love with every single one of them. All right, all right, let's go with these two. Oh, oh, are you missing a left front leg? No. Is anyone missing a left front leg? Speak now or forever hold your barks. <laughs> okay, that one, that one just convinced me to go ahead and maybe give it a try. Um, let's actually do these two because that was so cute with the little spin, even though we might lose beaver tail. Okay, we didn't lose beaver tail. Ooh, we got little bat wings. All right, so this time, left front leg, left front leg. Nope, missing the right front leg. I have hope. Let's go for the beaver tail, because I said I would. Ooh, now we're getting more wings. Left, left, nope, right, right missing. Right missing, right missing. Again, very awkward when I'm like, ah, oh, shucks, we're not missing the left leg on this dog. Try again. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, ooh! Hey! Hey, I'm always happy when one of you wants to prove you can fly. And you've got the beaver tail. 
And you got the big wings. I love it. I kind of want to go for a, a smaller dog. So let's try these. All right, left, left. No, everybody's just missing their right front leg. I, I wonder if there's just like no way. Oh my gosh, the combination of the wings and the tail is looking really cool. Um, I wonder if there's just like no way for you to be able to get the missing left front leg if you're missing the right front leg. If like they're they're somehow opposing genes. But I'm gonna double double check. All right, what about you? All right. You have your left front leg. That's that's not what we're looking for either. Again, well, maybe that's what we need. Maybe I just need to push the, you know what? Let's just, now that we've got the, the beaver tail, I'm giving it a quick glance, quick glance. Okay, now let's push the simulation. Let's see what we do if we can really shove these jeans like far down. Ooh, now we're getting orange. That's unique. I like it. Everybody left, everybody, wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, they got the left. Uh, all right, let's go with the orange one. This is kind of tricky though, because we are we are missing some legs and you want to do like a really quick visual scan to see if they are, they ha are they a lefty or a righty. Let's see. Okay, do you guys? Huh, all right, we're starting to get really down there. Wait, 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 wait. are you missing your left front leg? Right, okay. And then you, you? Oh, and there we, oh, this is a really cute one. <laughs> a three-legged puppy. I don't think we've ever had a three-legged puppy before. Well, there you go, friends. I'm telling you, Raisin Bread also has adorable puppies. That's awesome. And I'm so Twinkle Toes, our little fairy dog. Once more, we have expanded Okay, we gotta clean this up. Once more. Oh wait, oh, and I forgot about the golden dog. All right, we'll get you out here too. Oh, you're tiny. Oh, hello, pretty. Oh my gosh, and you have a fluffy tail. You remind me of like a little chick. Uh, chickadoo. Chickadoo. Kind of like chickadee, but it's chickadoo. Oh, and you have a tiny, three eyes, tiny little howl, bouncing your heart out. I'm gonna get you some candy apples and make you super shiny and see if I can keep that gold coloring. That's gonna be a little tricky. We might have to isolate this puppers to keep the golden like glow. Uh, <laughs> but all right guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you could, you know, toss, toss a like for raisin bread to eat. You don't have to. I mean, you, you could just, you could just not. It's, it's totally cool. Like Rupert might handle it. I'm sure he's got some raisins inside of there somewhere. But most importantly, Stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.